Hey everyone, we're back here in Bali and I'm gonna run through my procedures of what I like to do when I get injured on the mat. All this and more after the intro. Hey everyone, we're back here in Bali and I wanted to just kind of give you guys some advice and insight on how to treat injuries when you're doing jiu-jitsu. Like uh, I'll use kind of like a personal experience as an example. Like over the weekend, I, I, I had a back spasm doing some uh, strength and conditioning in addition to my jiu-jitsu, but like I have a really full schedule uh, that I do for training. so. You know, I have eight jiu-jitsu practices, some kickboxing also, and uh, uh, five uh, strength and mobility sessions that I do every week. So I have a pretty full schedule when it comes to working out. So um, as I approach my training with like the mindset of being like a professional or a serious athlete, uh, when I get injured, I need to take the same approach to my training with that. So one of the things that I do right away, as soon as I go from training mode into injury mode, there's a, a system and a process that I follow that kind of like, help me take care of whatever the issue is. So for like me, the, the moment I realized I had like a small spasm in my back, I immediately stopped my workout. So that's the first one you need to do. You realize something kind of happens, if it's your back or whatever it is, um, first stop what you're doing, you know what I mean? Cause I think when I was younger and before, a lot of the times when an injury would pop up, I just try to tough it out and at least finish practice. But this always prolongs your time off the mat. And for me, staying on the mat is one of the most important things. Um, so I know if I stop my workout early, it means in the future, I'm going to be able to return to the mat quicker. So, uh, I think that's the first one that you really need to acknowledge is like when you get injury, get an uh, injury pops up, just accept it for what it is. Try to drop your ego and, uh, just stop, stop in that moment and, and kind of go into rest mode. Um, immediately after that, I always go straight to like hot and cold therapy. I'm really, uh, fortunate to be in a situation where, uh, my gym has a really nice recovery center, so we have sauna, ice bath, hot tub. And I immediately went into contrast therapy, so I started with hot tub, just getting that good circulation going through my body, you know, like uh, anytime you're injured, blood flow is going to be a really important thing, especially to kind of help relax those muscles that tensed up. Um, after I had a long session in the hot tub, I went to the sauna to continue that like practice of heat, and I kind of just went, so that was like unbearable. And then from there, I went straight to the ice bath and let everything contract again and get tight. Uh, ice also helps uh, with the inflammation. So uh, I felt like a lot of inflammation leaving me. But again, since I had lots of muscle contraction, I wanted things to relax and, and uh, stretch back to the original state. So I went back to the hot tub and finished on heat. And again, I think using this approach of using contrast therapy when it's available to you, I think is really important. Uh, even if you, you don't have access to something like a recovery center, you can always do it at home. Uh, lots of things you can get at home, just basic ice packs or, uh, you know, hot shower, any sort of like, you know, hot compress, something like that that you can do to help get some blood circulating to wherever the injury is. So, so in my case, it was, it was my back. It was really nice to kind of, uh, use that to kind of jumpstart my recovery process right away, uh, fo following that injury. Uh, other thing that I did right away after the injury is seek professional help, right? Again, I'm really in a fortunate situation. I have a good osteopath that I can always kind of confide whatever my, my uh, smaller injuries are. Uh, talk to him right away and he gave me some advice on stuff I could do. I have other high level personal trainers that I can reach out to that can give me advice for strength and prehab work. Um, and I think, again, jumping in and figuring out, getting some sort of game plan of like what you're gonna do if the injury is gonna get bad is gonna help you uh, keep your mind on track to, uh, uh, to recovery, right? Cause my goal is not to, uh, stay injured for uh, like a long period of time. And I think a lot of times when people get injured, the first thing they're going to like, what am I going to do? They start slipping into this like depressed mind state right away. They're like, I can't train. I'm not going to take care of myself. I'm just going to sit at home and I'm going to eat and all this stuff. But that's really kind of like, um, a practice we really want to avoid if we can, you know? So seeking professional help will really get you back on track. Um, when I first get an injury, I avoid any major treatments. So like, uh, since mine was minor and it's something that I've had before, I knew that, uh, I didn't want to like jump into getting a massage right away. I didn't want to go see that osteopath immediately. I wanted to let my body kind of set into what was, uh, the issue for the first couple of days. And then from there I could kind of start moving forward in, um, in my recovery process, right? So I took it. A, I took those couple of days just to kind of let the injury settle in, so I could see exactly what the issue was, and then I could start taking some of that advice that I got from my osteo and the, the other personal trainers. Um, another thing that I think is super important um, is gentle movement and prehab work. So even on like the initial day of my injury, like I could tell 
because so many things were contracted in my body and my back and um, that I needed to do some gentle movement to keep everything from not getting too tight. Like anytime I laid down or sat down in a chair, I could really feel my back locking up. And uh, I knew staying stagnant was one of the worst things that I could do for myself. And you often, there's like a huge misconception about injuries that you just wanna lie still and do nothing. And I think that's like a, a very bad mindset to have and an approach to any time you have an injury. Um, I think some gentle movement is always a good way to go. And I always ask for prehab exercises from, from the resources that I have. So um, immediately started to jump into my, the, my prehab right away. And, and by allowing some gentle movement to kind of occur and being able to identify the difference between discomfort and pain, I was able to keep a lot of the mobility open in my back so I didn't seize up too much and it didn't hinder too much of my movement. And again, it's that, that, that constant practice of gentle movement uh, kind of helped me release some of the muscles that had contracted or, or switched off. And then I was able to kind of slowly start working my way out, out, out of like a minor back injury. Um, and I think the last thing is how you enter back in. So like, um, I think anytime we get injured, we need just to be careful about our approach of how we get back on the mat, right? So for me, like, uh, I know the, one of the worst things that I can do is jump right back in where I left off. So this week I'm really kind of easing back into training. I'm just starting with some really like easy, gentle prehab work, but it's all, again, all these things are, uh, are the things that are going to help me get strong again, the fastest. Right, so I'm not jumping right back into sparring right away. I'm still able to teach, and it's because I'm using this the this method, this process that I'm kind of sharing with you guys. That's allowing me to at least get back on the mats to teach as fast as possible. You know, so like that's that's always kind of like a goal of mine. Anytime an injury pops up, I hate missing practice. I hate not being able to teach my team. So I want to be in the mats where I can work with everyone. Um, and again, I think this is like a process that I've kind of been developing and refining over the years. And I think it's like really simple, easy advice that anyone on their jiu-jitsu journey can benefit from, whether you're just starting or you've been in it for a long time. So I hope you guys found this helpful. If you like videos like this, uh, please let me know. Give me feedback on other things you want to hear about. If you've got any questions around, uh, revolving around jiu-jitsu or training or, or whatever it is. Um, and uh, I hope you guys like what you saw. So make sure to like and subscribe to my channel so you, I can help produce more videos like this. Ha, 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 ha.